that's my homie between between uh, Batman and, and Rocky playing Mickey and um, Burgess Meredith played a big part of my upbringing. And then Danny DeVito's playing one in Tim Burton's films as well, played a big part of my cinema going life as a young man. Um, but I, I was never raised on comics, uh, and then obviously I had the experience with, with Matt. But all the iterations of Gotham through the years, from Batman 66 on through Chris Nolan stuff and Tim Burton stuff, I've always been incredibly immersed in them and they've always meant a lot to me. So to get to explore this world first with Matt and then with Lauren and the rest of the cast and crew and this was just, honestly, it was a dream come true, man. It was, you know, because I'm still a 48 going on seven sometimes. <laughs> so um, it's not lost on me that I was a seven-year-old kid sitting on a carpet in Dublin in my parents' house watching Adam West and all the pow, hooray, and all that stuff. And, and now I'm in that world. is kind of magic. Mike, how about you? Um, continue our panel, uh, so join or return to the stage, I should say, Miss Lauren LaFranc. One more time. Now, joining us on the stage, he plays Johnny Vini, Mr. Michael Kelly. very end of the very end of the uh, exhibitor area of New York Comic Con pro tip all the way here on the side this is past the 4600 aisle uh, you got lots of swords and such here lightsabers and stuff there are a lot of different places to grab food to eat um, there's a cafeteria downstairs the wait is ridiculous you can grab something real quick here um, a lot of different options but I'm gonna jump into the vendors. Now on this end, this is when you walk into the showroom, this is all the way on the right. So there's a lot more kind of toys and other stuff, um, not comic books. I was hunting for comic books. You will find some and actually haven't been to um, see if there are any vendors here that I would grab comics from. But to be honest, I, my bag is much heavier, my wallet is much lighter, and I'm not sure if I can grab any more comics reasonably today. Um, I, this is Thursday. I was at the show. I will be back on Sunday. So, uh, with the family. Sorry. The 4000s are quite a bit more of the the toys. You got some Blu-rays and DVDs here. And it is fairly crowded. Thursday is one of the less attended days. And actually, as of last night, it was the only day you could get still get tickets for um, through their website. But you can see, uh, you know, T-shirts and such. Lots whatever these are, like pins. Jackets. People with their own books. Stubbies. Oh, they got fudge. Gourmet fudge. 
sure my kids will want that on Saturday, Sunday. Ugh. Um, Scoops Ahoy? I don't know. I haven't seen that much cosplay today. Um, Sunday maybe there'll be more. We can get some jackets, some Star Trek jackets, I guess. I don't know, something like that. So it's a baseball caps. It's a culture club. Here's a huge robot over here. Pins, backpacks. I will be spending most of my day away from the comic books on Sunday with the family, so. here t-shirts and other merch more t-shirts we're not doing this no we're going back oh okay i haven't seen any comic books this is uh dum dum ink another weapons booth i'm just gonna switch hands with my bag Good toys and models, more newer stuff, it looks like. Keeps outpost more toys. I think I made a choice. Sergeant Slaughter. I don't care anything about wrestling at all, honestly. Um, toys. We have cards. Posters. Oh, and cards. Torrance Game Store. There's some areas where they're doing signings with celebrities. Bigger celebrities are in the downstairs. Um, I know today, who was there? Haley Atwell, um, Elizabeth Olsen. They were doing signings. A lot of people here with their own goods. Gotta switch arms again. Oh, I'm gonna switch arms every aisle and a half. This is aisle 4400. Oh, notice I have not come across a comic book. And they're selling some sort of drink that I would not be interested in. There's a Creature Commandos experience. That's pretty cool. Creature Commandos coming to Max in December. Looking forward to that. I think James Gunn's gonna be doing a panel on that on Saturday. There's some inflatable tentacles over there for some reason. That's the New York Comic Con official store. They're always busy. Prize wheel over here. Uh, 
I should have brought some leaves. Yeah. If you have motion sickness, this video may not be for you. Card game. More merch, exclusives. I'm gonna check this out on Sunday. I don't know what they're doing in there. It's the legging glass. Fork, tree fort. And again, notice I have not seen a comic book yet. I mean, I have it up with me already. Believe me, this is the end of the day. It's probably within 45 minutes of closing. The show goes until 7 tonight. Switch arms again, we're in aisle 4200. I mean, I think the crowd might have thinned out a little bit as we're within the last hour. We're trying to get home, beat some traffic. are upstairs. I went to the penguin panel today. In my parents' basement, t-shirts. That's a pretty cool title. Um, we might have to check this out on Sunday. There's oh, some cool stuff. Some Marvel. All the DC stuff. See what, uh, if there's any things that my kids would be interested. I'm sure they can find something at one of these t-shirt shops. There are usually a few of them. You want barbecue sauce? I do not come to comic book shows to buy barbecue sauce, to be honest with you, but everybody has a different flavor that they're looking for. Mine is not barbecue. Mine is comic books. Mine is musty. That's the flavor I'm interested in. Oy. Now, here we're about to get into the a lot of these mystery boxes related to different um, IPs. And they have, I don't know, like t-shirts and other kind of stuff in there. They are officially licensed styling boxes. See all sorts of different, uh, My Hero Academia and so on and so forth. The enormous escalator upstairs. Uh, look at the donuts, that's so tempting. I'm gonna pass on the donuts. Maybe a, save my appetite for dinner, whatever that's gonna be. Styling boxes on both sides. Now, oh, here we are. We're now finding some um, comic books. Yep, I was to a lot of these. Did go club. I did get a, uh, that's where I got my strange adventures. Got my first Captain Adam there today. So this is the 4,000s, basically the high 3,000s, like 3,500 to 4,000 are the comic book vendors. To 
Toy and Comic Kevin. I think I need to bring like a roly poly with me so that I'm not just lugging this in the future. There's some comics here. Oh, I didn't see. He's got some nice ASAM, ASM books here. More clothing. Toys, cards over here. Funkos. There are a few Funko Pop dealers. A lot of toys with Funkos. They might even have one more booth here somewhere. Now these, when you're more towards the back, you have a lot of these exclusive variants. People with their own comic books. I'm getting a glare from all the foil covers. Comic inspiration. A few books on their wall. More Funkos over here. Final stickers, <laughs> statues, plushies and such over there. We're in the 3900 aisle. Jewelry and pins, minifigures. A couple of comic dealers over here. There's an Undisputed Realm and uh, Urban Books. One comics and collectibles. Supernatural pops. Shoes. Ross City. I don't know what that is. Okay, good. Here we have some stuff. This is Royal Collectibles. Looks like they've sold some wall books today. Excuse me. Uh, here we have some more books. Uh, here we have silver age comics. We got Ali from Elite. And we have as Ali. What's up? We have Golden Age Guru there, Jeff. I did get a book from him today. Some posters. They're selling bags and such. Okay, we're turning into another aisle. Original art. Spider-Man covers. 
Ooh, Justice League, uh, Dick Dillon. Justice League cover. Any chance of 102? Let's see the Two Face cover. That's cool stuff. Can't go down that rabbit hole. Clayton Crane. Okay, I'm not putting my wife by that. Booth. National Cartoonist Society. Royal Collectibles. East Side Comics. They have a lot of exclusives, East Side. I don't know what they're dropping today. I was not um, doing the exclusive game. So, what else do we have? We're in the 3800 aisle. My shoulder is killing me. I'm trying to see if I can... Can I do this whole show? If I can leave my bag somewhere, yes. Movie posters. I did buy a couple books over from this vendor. Uh, some reprints, facsimiles. They have a lot of facsimiles. I did look at something here, but didn't pull a trigger on anything. There's some really cool movie posters. Exclusives. A lot of Lego. For some reason, license plates. This is a Zap and an end cap. And uh, we're going to take a break. Be ready to get this off, huh? It's on wheels. I just haven't sat down since 10. Yeah. Awesome job. Thank you. Hi. Thank you. What's up? Awesome. Great job. It. It's time to leave New York Comic Con 2024 and come back again in another year for 2025.